What's up everyone? Today we're back in Vegas on a Las Vegas trip. We're gonna check out the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. All this going back and forth between Vegas and Atlantic City and Orlando. I'm getting dizzy. Hold on tight. Oh my god, are you starting with that crap already? The Cosmo has two towers. The one closest to the Strip is called the Boulevard Tower, and the one pushed back a little bit further is called the Chelsea Tower. If you go back far enough in my Vegas videos, you'll know that I've color-coded most of the hotels and casinos on the Las Vegas Strip, and the Cosmo would definitely be the purple hotel and casino. It's got purple accents outside and pretty much drowns you in purple once you enter the place. You'll see what I mean once we step inside, and speaking of stepping inside, let's check out and see what's going on inside today, shall we? If you're coming in from what I call the north entrance here at the Cosmopolitan, the first thing you're going to see on the right hand side is the Henry, a great place for breakfast and lunch, and uh, if you like French toast, I'm not going to say it's the best French toast on the strip, I'm going to say it's the best French toast I ever had. On the left hand side is the barber shop where they'll uh, cut your hair and serve you cocktails at the same time. If you guys knew what I looked like, you would realize I don't have that much hair to cut, but I would definitely go there for at least the cocktails. Yeah, not that much hair on my noggin, but uh, every time I get a haircut, my friends say, you didn't pay for that, did you? Friends, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. This is the lower level of the chandelier lounge. It's uh, actually three levels high, uh, and again, this is the lower level. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And once again, a shout out to Wise Malik, who spotted Goofy in my latest Orlando video, Toy Story at Hollywood Studios. And speaking of Wise Malik, he's been a loyal subscriber from day one here on the New York channel, watches every video, and is pretty good at finding those mascots, but he stayed here at the Cosmo a couple months ago and did his own video from the balcony of, it looked like a wraparound balcony from uh, his room here when he stayed here a little while ago. Check his video out, I'll leave a link in the description below. I stayed here about a year ago and have my video as well, so uh, just check out the New York channel for the Cosmopolitan Room and Pool Review. This lounge is located right in between the casino and the front desk, and I apologize for the wonky camera work, uh, it's just totally out of focus for a, a little while here. My camera's not too good in the dark, but it seems exceptionally bad right now, but I'm sure it'll clear up in a couple moments. Hold on tight! Oh, come on! There he goes again with that crap! What's he holding on to tightly anyway? Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. And here we have the Wicked Spoon, Cosmopolitan's answer to the all-you-can-eat buffet here in Las Vegas. Some say the best buffet in Las Vegas, others say there are better. What do you think? Have you been to some buffets in town? Which ones did you like? Leave a comment below. These elevators are for the Chelsea Tower. That's the tower that I stayed in here when I was here about a year ago. A bit of a walk to the Las Vegas Strip. The Cosmo also has some of the Strip's most unusual artwork.
And this here is Block 16. I guess it's the Cosmopolitan's answer to a uh, gourmet food court. Most of these fast food, if you will, restaurants here at the uh, Block 16 have their home or their roots somewhere else in the country, and they built like a satellite location here at the Cosmo. Each one is very different. I visited lots of them. You can check them all out here on the channel. There is one, however, that I've never showed you guys before. It's called Ghost Donkey. It's a speakeasy. It's probably the most secretive place here on the Las Vegas Strip, or in Las Vegas in general. Uh, they serve tons of different types of tequila here. It's a lot more secretive than Secret Pizza, which is upstairs. Freeze frame! Now, I'm sure hundreds of people walk past this store every day. There's no name on it, just this little donkey here, and it looks kind of like an emergency exit. It's not open right now, but I saw some people just going in there, so I'm about to open this door and try to get that shot. Camera shot, that is, not tequila shot. This is totally not my style, people, but again, I do lots for you guys. Let's barge in. Freeze frame! And this is Ghost Donkey, a speakeasy type of tequila bar. There's no name Ghost Donkey on the door or anything. You saw the door. Um, it's not open right now. There's only two people, I believe, in here, staffers, and I kind of barged in for about three seconds to get this shot, and I think I overstayed my welcome by about, well, three seconds. Maybe I'll come back for a shot of tequila, but I might have blacklisted myself. Back out at Block 16, we check out some more of these fast food. I hate to call it fast food because they're really good quality, but it is fast, so I guess gourmet fast food. Uh, lots of places here, and there's also a District Donuts here, which is the closest place to get a coffee in the morning if you're in the Chelsea Tower. If you must have Starbucks, you're about halfway there because that's located on the Strip uh, at the front of the hotel here. Uh, District Donuts had perfectly good coffee and fantastic donuts. Right across from Block 16 is a Chinese and Mexican restaurant. Now, I'm not sure if they have Chinese food and Mexican food or if it's Chinese-Mexican fusion. I've never eaten here, maybe perhaps next trip, but how bad could Chinese-Mexican fusion be? That sounds really good to me. Straight ahead, the purple chandelier is the upper level of the chandelier lounge. We saw the lower level uh, earlier in the video, and there is a mid-level as well. On the right was the marquee nightclub here at the Cosmo. Straight ahead is Holstein Shakes and Buns. This kind of sounds like a Kardashian TV special. I had a burger there, part of my, I believe it was the second burger challenge I did here on the Las Vegas trip. See how they did on that video. And next to it is Egg Slut. I don't eat eggs, but from what I understand, really good egg sandwiches there. Also up here on the upper level is this really odd looking uh, Alice in Wonderland themed seating area. I guess uh, if you have sandwiches or maybe from Block 16, even though there's um, tables over there. Uh, I guess you can bring your food over here or cocktails from uh, the Chandelier Lounge, but... Why would you sit out here when the Chandelier Lounge has a beautiful interior? I don't know. I don't know why this is here.
And now we're going to go up another level to check out some of the more fine dining here at the Cosmopolitan, as well as a, a not-so-secret secret place anymore. Hold on tight. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99, instantly downloaded to your computer. Tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting Sin City. This is Jaleo, known for its Spanish tapas. The award-winning Jaleo brings excitement, spectacle, and the authentic flavors of Spanish cuisine to Las Vegas. And here we have Scarpetta, an earthy yet modern approach to Italian cuisine. Scarpetta serves a pleasurable and soulful menu of seasonally inspired fare. And here we have Red Plate, which offers an unparalleled dining experience grounded in authentic Chinese flavors. Now, I was here a couple weeks ago and it was still closed from the pandemic. I'm hoping it opened since then. And here we have Beauty in Essex, a partnership with the Tao Group and acclaimed chef and restaurateur Chris Santos. Beauty in Essex offers unique sharing plates and new twists on classic cocktails in a speakeasy-like setting. I'm starting to realize the Cosmopolitan likes to hide their restaurants and bars, or at least keep them secret. This is STK, a new take on the traditional steakhouse. STK offers a flirty, bustling bar scene, an inspiring menu, and a sexy, energetic dining atmosphere. Sounds like a trip to the clinic might be in order afterwards. Hey baby, rough night? You look a little wired. And here we have Zuma. Zuma serves uh, modern Japanese cuisine and award-winning cocktails in an elegant and sophisticated environment. And across from Zuma is Blue Ribbon. Master chefs and restaurateurs Eric and Bruce Bromberg bring a new version of their award-winning food lover's haven to the Cosmopolitan. And right next door to Blue Ribbon is probably Las Vegas's worst kept secret, Secret Pizza. Not even sure if that's the name of the place. There's no signs. Everyone just knows that it's Secret Pizza. You walk down this hallway, uh, you order your pie, which is usually pretty good. You can order it by the slice as well. There's very limited uh, eating area down here. You need to take your slice or your pie out to the lobby area, uh, which is what we've been walking around here on the upper level. Um, there's plenty of tables and chairs out there. Somewhere on this channel is a uh, in-depth review of Secret Pizza's Pizza. Don't even think about it. I swear I'm unsubscribing. That's it. I've had it with this nonsense. And here we have the Cosmo Sports Book right off the Las Vegas Strip. Put a buck in my cup. I will shut the f up. And you ain't gotta be a baller to give me a motherfucking dollar. I am a socket. You are the plug. Please put a dollar in this book. Cool. That's my buddy Buck in the Cup, man. You've seen him here on other videos. This was my last encounter with him. More of him to come in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.